What's going on YouTube? This is your boy The Vintage, back with a video, and today I'll be hitting you with a review and on feed of the Air Jordan 11 Prom Nights, man. I know I'm late with this review, but I had to hit y'all with it. I got this shoe just for the review, uh, and I'm gonna give y'all a review. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up for your boy right now, and ring the notification bell. We're gonna get right into this review. Let's get it. Okay, first thing first is the box. Here you have it, the two, three right there. Blam, blam, got the two, got the three. And on the back, or the bottom of the box, you got nothing but black. Um, you know, with the Air Jordan 11 box, you get those little, those little swirls or little waves or whatever they are. And on top of the box, not on top of the box, <laughs> on the front of the box, you get the size tag right there. Air Jordan 11 Retro. We got the retail price of 250, pretty steep, but I had to pull the trigger, man. Official color code is black, black, and black. <laughs> yeah, man. So uh, inside the box, you know, it take you like fucking a whole minute to open this thing. But you get the Tinker made them shine. Mike made them, but fly, and we made them iconic. And uh, yeah, inside you get the black standard uh, carbon fiber paper. Got the stock extra seat right here. Y'all can see that. We can go ahead. Yeah. We can go ahead and get this box out of the way. Yeah. We can get right into it, man. So with this shoe right here, you have that suede upper right here. And it's a very, very nice. I wouldn't even say suede. I think it's like a more of a new buck. Yeah, a new buck upper slash suede. I don't know, man. It's kind of kind of soft to be new buck, but it ain't soft enough to be suede. You know where I'm coming from. What? Uh, you got that right there. You got the rope laces, man, which is a very different touch in my opinion. I wish you guys with some B-roll to hit y'all with some up close. You got the rope laces with the metal tips, man. Uh, very nice. Uh, you know how I rock mines, you know, got loose lace on, but I don't know how it's gonna look with these rope laces, but we will see in the own feet. The tongue, like I said, again, you got that suede slash new buck. Uh, very nice, very soft. Can't complain about the quality, man. On the upper side of the shoe, you have this all black patent leather on the side, man, which is very nice, very sleek. You rock this, like I said, you're going to graduation, you're going to prom. It's just a nice shoe to throw on and dress up with, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm glad they hit with that black, nice patent leather, man. With the jump, man, you have like a metal or a hard plastic. I doubt Jordan Man really hit us with some real metal, so probably like a hard, hard plastic. <laughs> What? Yeah, I thought that was a very dope touch. And with the back, they stitched in the 2-3, man, which was a very, very nice touch. Did you know, like, uh, the Bread 11s? Let me pull them out real quick. You don't get these stitched in. You get them, uh, you get the 2-3, like, embroidered. Not embroidered, like, heated on, like, with a fucking steamer or something. You know what I'm saying? That nigga's tripping. But these right here, you get it embroidered or stitched in which I really like. Also on the medium side, I think it's the medium or the latter. This is the medium, yeah. You got that black, nice patent leather, followed by the outsole, which is a very dope touch. This shoe reminded me so much of the Gammas, and I'm glad they hit us with that blue outsole, man. Uh, it's not icy like, you know what I'm saying, some of these 11s have been releasing lately, but they hit us with some nice, like that Gamma blue um, outsole, man. I really like that. I'm glad they hit us with something similar to the Gamma, but then again, I kind of wish they would have just gave us original Gamma 11. But this shoe would do its justice, man. Also, you got the carbon fiber plate right here, man. Very nice, very sturdy. <laughs> and you got the jump, man, in the middle of the outsole. Uh, you got the black pods, blam and blam. And with this shoe tree, you have a nice black shoe tree. Jordan Brand hit us with the nice quality stuff. Then give us the cardboard, and here you have it the black plastic shoe tree, man. And I feel like this is the same thing they made the fucking Jumpman on the side with. I don't know, y'all let me know. I doubt drum band is some real metal, you know what I'm saying? I doubt it, bruh. Uh, insole, it's all black. Let me show you that real quick. I'm gonna show you on the B-roll. Inside, you got the all black with your size tag down there. Size nine, my size. And yeah, let's see what the back of that tongue say. This tongue is very soft, bruh. Shitting on these bread 11's tongue, bruh. Uh, yeah, the quality inspired by the greatest player ever. 
just like that, man. This is your typical Air Jordan 11 model, but not a typical colorway. It is with an all black, all black upper man with that icy blue sole. And a lot of people wasn't feeling it before, like in the beginning of the year. I know I did my uh, most anticipated sneakers of 2018. And this was up there just because I didn't know how people would feel about them. I didn't even know how I would feel about them. But I actually grown to like this shoe. And it has grown to be like one of those must have in a collection to me. Uh, this is all in my opinion. I'm not trying to persuade you to like a shoe differently or like a shoe better. I just want to give you my opinion, show you how I like them. And this shoe right here is a very, very nice shoe. So I had to have it, you feel me? Had to have them in the collection. And uh, yeah, man, can't wait to throw these on feet. So that is it for this review. Just like that, you have the Air Jordan 11 Blackout review. We're gonna get right into the on feet. Before I let y'all go, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat, the links in the description box below. Hit that thumbs up if you like this review or hit that thumbs up if you don't like this shoe, just hit the thumbs up, man. Support your boy, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and comment and let me know if you grab this pair. I'm sorry I'm late with this review, but I'm gonna hit y'all with that dope on feet, man. Let's get it.